Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with Tabitha Coffee. Coffee? Coffee? How do coffee, you, like coffee? A coffee, like a cup of coffee. Like a cup of coffee, right? <laughs> okay. Exactly. So uh, we're hanging out. You're at the show. We're at the Millennium Booth at the America's Beauty Show in Chicago, Illinois. So I'm very excited that I get to sit with you and have a talk. Well, thank so you. So you have a lot going on. You have new stuff going on. Um, I so I want to talk about that, but I also want to talk about um, the, like the adventure of your life, really. So we don't have to go through the whole thing, but I want to talk about, uh, obviously, we've all seen the TV show. Uh, so tell me, coming off of that, in that experience, what, what do you think that that did to pro like, kind of project you through what's happening now with you? Like, what was the big thing? Um, look, I, I think it's really interesting because I think it changed everything and it changed nothing, right. to, be, to be really honest. I mean, coming to something like this and seeing friends that I've known for, you know, 20 years and we've worked together and yeah. kind of done the rounds and done the hair shows and been the platform artist and things, I'm exactly the same person. Right. It's just that a few more people recognize me now. I think the thing that I'm really proud of for the show is that it made the consumer and the client out there look at us as hairdressers and realize that a lot goes into it. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of education. There's a lot of training. There's a lot of business savvy that needs to go into it. Yeah. And for me, I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud that it started the conversations with people and people went, Wow, that's that's really hard work. That right. that's a really cool job. That's really amazing what you do. Because we all know that there are some people out there that think, Oh, you're a hairdresser. Right. Yeah. And we're so important to everyone. And I think that a lot of a lot of consumers out there and a lot of the guests that we have coming into our businesses don't realise the training that goes into it. So I'm really proud of that. I mean the ride of having a TV show is amazing. And yeah. I love it, and it's fab, and I'm not going to negate that at all. But first, last, and always, I'm a hairdresser, and that's truly what my love and my passion is. Awesome. And we, uh, so you had a salon in mm -hmm. New Jersey, right? Mm -hmm. And you're still in New Jersey. We mm -hmm. talked about that. What part of Jersey are you in? I live in Bergen County, so I live okay. right in New York. Um, I spend a lot of time in LA, so I kind of bounce all over yeah. the place. But when I came to America, I went to New Jersey. Um, How did you end up in New Jersey? My mum remarried and she moved okay. She moved to New Jersey. So that was kind of the landing spot for me. And that's where everything kind of built. My salon was. And I love it. So all the bad rap that you all give New Jersey, <laughs> leave it alone. I'm a Jersey girl. Yeah, we love Jersey. So you have a, so you had a salon there. Um, what did you... So we, we're here, obviously, with Millennium. So mm -hmm. from a business standpoint, what, what's your, what was your favorite part about owning a salon? Oh, God. It... Look, I think any owner out there will probably relate to this. It's a love-hate relationship. Right. You love it because it's your business and it's your baby. And I love my staff and I love my clients. And I, I, like the, I like the process of business. I like the numbers and I love all of that. I'm that kind of girl that I like systems and everyone knows that about me. So right. I'm all into that. You know, the hate part is when your staff won't listen to you. <laughs> When you're trying to get business in, when you know you're having a lean month and something's happening and you're worried about paying the bills, we've all been there as business owners. Right. Um, but even those downtimes are things that motivate me. I, I just love the process of creating the environment I wanted to create, and as a business owner, that's what I got to do. Right. It wasn't anyone else's environment. No one else got to tell me what to do. I got to make up my own rules, and yeah. it was my sandbox, and everyone else played in it, and I love that. Right. Yeah, I think that's what my favorite part about having a salon as well, because you just have uh, you have the freedom to be able to, um, you know, not only make like people like Thad yep. that's here with me now, like. You be able to, you're able to do great things and you don't have somebody over top of you. But at the same sense, that's why you can't sleep because you're... you have all the responsibility. Right. So, yeah. you know, it's a double-edged sword. It, it's fantastic, but not everyone is business-minded. Yeah. And, you know, obviously, as you know, owning a business, that's what it comes down to. Some people are, are amazing technicians and have wonderful clientele and they're great, but they don't want that stress. And I respect that. Yeah. You know, I, th I think it's knowing what you want out of it yeah. because it is stressful and it is a lot of responsibility and it is a lot of work and it's wonderful 
but you also have to be ready for all those things that come along with it. Exactly. So, uh, you know, talking about numbers and, and salon business and everything, you looked at Mevo, Millennium's new product. And uh, so tell me, tell me what you thought. It was, you, you got to see it, uh, the gamification, all of that. What do you think that's going to do from a hairdresser standpoint? I think they're geniuses. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm, I'm a huge fan. You know, any of you guys that watch my show, you know that, I'm a huge supporter of Millennium. They're huge supporters of me. They've been wonderful to me through, you know, all my seasons of the show and coming in and really helping those salon owners with computer systems, with the education. I think Mevo has taken something that is already amazing and just shot it through the roof yeah. of, like, kind of hard to wrap your head around it. Yeah. I love the idea that you can reward your staff and reward them in a fun way, an innovative way, something that people want to interact with. Look, let's face it, everything is digital now. Yeah. And we love it. We love our we love our social media, we love our text messaging. I know that all the staff out there are in the back room on the cell phone, on the tablet. I know you are, even if you're telling me you're not. <laughs> right. There's no phones on the salon floor. You all know that. But I know that everyone loves electronics. I do as well. I get it. Yeah. And doing something like Mevo and, and expanding that and rewarding your staff and, and giving them what you want to do, doing it in a fun way, helping them set goals instead of sitting there the old way and you'd have a staff meeting once a month or once a quarter, however you work your business, and you'd sit there with the spreadsheet and everyone would be like, I know, you know, yeah. and you'd fall over because you were so bloody tired and yeah. sick of it because you can't retain it. This is so amazing and so fun. Yeah, it's very and, visual. Yeah, it's visual and it's interactive and it's fun and it starts a conversation with the other staff, which I think is really important. Yeah. Um, to start that conversation. Sorry, everyone's waving at me, so I'm waving. It's distraction. Um, and I love it. And you know what? Look, kudos to them. I think that this industry is all about growth and it's all about looking how we can better ourselves and, and work smarter, not harder, yeah. and reward our staff for the right reasons. And Mevo really hits all, all of those targets. So awesome. it's great. Awesome. So let's talk about uh, your new adventure. Tell me about this. I, you kind of told me a little bit before, but I want to know all about it. So, I'm really excited. This is my baby. So yes. this to me is like opening my bricks and mortar salon. You know, for a really long time, and I've, I've wanted to do this for a long time. And there was a time when I wanted to do a bricks and mortar training academy. And I'm not saying that's not going to happen. So it's still there for me. But I also realized that not everyone can travel to a class and do to those you, things yeah. because we're busy and we have all of those things. So I've started a website for salon professionals. It's called industryonline.com. It's I-N-D-U-S-T-R-I-E. Um, I'm very excited. It's free to anyone that signs up. And I'm going to be asking a lot of questions. So what I really want to do, I think we're all so spammed in yeah. this world. We get all the emails that we don't really want, the information. Right. I'm going to be asking you very specific questions. So if you're a colorist and you're not interested in barbering and men's cuts or cutting at all or any of those things, you will just get color content from me. That's if you're cool. a business owner and you're looking for the business advice, how to motivate the staff, how to do those things, that's what you'll get from me. So you're really telling me what you want. And industry is really answering all of your professional questions. Okay. The other portion that I'm really excited about is similar to Mevo, actually. So it was interesting going through the system and getting these points. You will get social currency. So I'm going to give you, if you retweet, Facebook, pin something that you like, the content that you're seeing on my site, yeah. then I will give you currency that will go to an e-commerce store. There's no money exchanged whatsoever, but it's a way for you to try new products. Yeah. Um, if you're looking at something you've always wanted, but maybe your salon doesn't carry it or you don't know how to try it, you can get these, these points accumulated that you can get products, scissors, blow dries, flat irons, curling irons, all of those kind of things okay. to try something before you actually outlay the money. Um, it's all education. It's also motivation, business tips. 
it's myself, but many other professionals in the industry yeah, that are going. Say, where is that information coming from? So it's going to be 75% content driven, which is education, okay. and 25% motivation. Nice. I want to start the conversation where, you know, we have the fashion conversations and the beauty conversations and the things that really make us well-rounded individuals. But sometimes, again, people are really busy and they don't have access to that. So I want to start that conversation. Right. Um, I also want to give you marketing tips that you can do events in your salon and cross-promote and do all of those things without having the stress of it. I'm going to take care of that for you. Um, ways to sell product to your clients because I know a lot of hairdressers out there tell me that you're creative beings and you can't sell products. Right. I'm going to make how-to videos for your clients so you can do the blow dry but your client can watch the video while you're doing it and it will explain the product. So there's a lot of cool technology that I'm working on That's great. through it and I'm going to be, it's not me, right? It's not, it really isn't all about me. It's about this industry and it, it's my way of giving back and helping elevate the education and the motivation of the industry. Yeah. So I'm going to be calling on a lot of amazing platform artists out there. I'm going to be utilizing a lot of amazing hairdressers that never get the chance to be seen. So I'm going to do open casting calls all around the country so that I can actually have my own little team that can work with people and show people things because there are so many great artistic hairdressers out there that right. just don't get to come to shows or don't get to be platform artists or do those kind of things. So I'm very excited about that. The other side of it will be a pro site. And the reason I'm doing, I'm sorry, a consumer site, the reason I'm doing consumer is I want to bridge the gap. Okay. You know, I feel like um, as professionals, we're seeing all these YouTubers out there and we're seeing all these people tell us how we should be doing hair. And although they're amazing and I love it, only 3% of them are professionals. Right. The other 97% are girls at home that are really good with doing their hair or doing their makeup, but they're not pros. Right. I want to take that back and I want to build the environment that we're the professionals. People should be listening to us. We're licensed, we're trained, we're educated, we work really hard. And I want to drive business back into people's salon. So I'm doing a portion of the website will be for consumers so that I can drive business back in and we can have those conversations about why professional products are important and why you should buy from a hairdresser and tips and tricks and all those kind of things. Okay. Yeah, I think that's great because you have, I mean, you've built the name that you've built for yourself. And uh, to be able to not only speak to hairdressers and use that your name for that, but to to talk to consumers and be able to bring them back to what you know what we're good at. The I'm really I'm really lucky. And to go back to your first question about the show, one of the things that I am lucky about is that the show obviously isn't just watched by hairdressers; it's watched by people out there. So right. it has opened a lot of doors to kind of the inside workings, maybe of hairdressers and what goes into our industry and I talk about it a lot in the press and in my books and things like that and my passion for this industry and I think having for me to be able to give back to the industry not just on an educational level but also to help increase your business whether that's giving you the tools of talking about innovative products that are out there or the things that will work best for you or how to open your business all the questions people ask me right. I want to be able to answer all of those things. Yeah. But I also want to show the clients and the guests that we have, you know what, we work really hard in this industry and we're really amazing and we're professionals and we deserve respect. And it's honorable to be a hairdresser and it's the best job in the world. Right. And I want to give them the education so they go to their pro and they're actually asking for the product from their professional instead of taking it from some other retail source. Exactly. Awesome. So the website again, is it is it active now? The website at the moment, I go live um, June 1st. Okay. At the moment, it's a landing page. So okay. you go on there, you can submit your email. I'm not going to spam you, I promise, but I, I will take your email and I will tell you when it's live. Okay. Again, it's totally free. So it's industryonline.com, but it's I-N-D-U-S-T-R-I-E. Okay. Um, and, you know, sign up, email, and then June 1st, I'm live. Yeah, and we'll put the link to the to the website in the video, so so that people can click over to it. I'm really excited to hopefully you know work with you, uh, do something for, and to help you out. We're with totally that. gonna do something. Yeah, Are you it's kidding? gonna be fun. So uh, thank you so much for sitting down. That's it. Uh, I think. I mean, we can talk about whatever you want, but I'm sure you're busy. 
I'm not that busy. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we have. See, we now have I put you day. on the spot. Now you're like. You know what happened yesterday? One of my really? friends, uh, we what? were we were doing an interview, and then he started interviewing me, and we ended up here for like 50 minutes. So you can talk about whatever you want. Is there anything else going on? I mean, we could plug your well, social media, but you have the following. That's we right. Could. I've got Twitter. It's really me. Yeah. So all those people that think I have some little, you know, assistant running around. No, I don't. It's really me. I'm yeah. a one woman show. There is one thing I want to ask you. So your day to day. So like before this weekend happened, <laughs> yeah. where were you? What were you doing? I was at home. Okay. In New Jersey. In New Jersey. <laughs> and what do you do? Um, were you hanging out with Martino or were you... I wasn't hanging out with Martino. Do you hang out with Martino? Because every time I see you guys, you're you're hugging and you're... But do you guys see each other? You both live in New Jersey. But t- honestly, I'll, I'll say this sincerely. You know, one of the things... There are so many things about the show that I love. And yeah. one of the things is being able to really help people and being given that opportunity. When I met him, as many of you saw... And yeah, that, we saw. And that, you know, it, it's not fake. It's really my reaction to things. Yeah. I didn't care for him. <laughs> he wasn't my cup of tea. <laughs> and sometimes, even now, six years later, he's still not my cup of tea. <laughs> However, you know, I... I've grown to know Martino and it happened from me going into his salon and, and getting to know the kind of man he is. He is such a wonderful human being. He is. And he's so good hearted and he's such a great father and he's really just such a great person and I do adore him and I do love him and I do consider him a friend. So we don't hang out that much. That's because he's probably busier than me, actually. <laughs> he's pretty busy um, now. Yeah. He's pretty busy. He's busy so. Yeah. He's really busy and he's working and he's do- working on his product line, his salons and all of those kind of things. But we do talk and we do text. And the thing I love about Martino is he's always there. Yeah. If, I need, he- if I need a friend, he's the guy that's there. So I love that about him. And it's him. not only just Tabitha. I can send Martino a text and he texts me back right away. So yeah, he's, it, he's, look, a, he's, he's a great guy. Yeah. Sometimes his clothing choices are really weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. However, the inside He might is be the, the most extravagant part. person I've ever met in my life. But the funny thing... Yeah, it's kind of like everyone is young, so they're not going to get this, but it's kind of like Martino Cartier and Liberace. <laughs> right. It's a very fine line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. I met him for the first time at the Millennium Experience, and the only time I'd ever seen him was on your show. And I was like, oh, no, I don't know. And I sat down with him at the bar, and he was the most genuine, nice person. And I I actually said to you, I was like, I wasn't sure if if we were going to be like, get along. Uh, But he's a super nice guy. Yeah, he he needs to show the super nice sometimes and tone down the flash. I'm just saying. I mean, he never quite got the flash out. He carries baby lions. I've seen it happen. So I've been there. Yeah, you were there. I was there. I've got a picture that I'm patting one. It's weird. But he does. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah. She changed my life. Yeah. She changed my life. I didn't change his wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> she can't change her clothes too. So, uh, so that's that's great. I really appreciate you sitting down. Um, hopefully, you know more in the future. And is there anything else that you want to get out there? So we're gonna check out industry. You're gonna check out industry. You're gonna check out Mevo. You're gonna check out you guys. Thank you for having me. You and I are gonna work together in the future because yes. I love what you're doing. Very so excited. thank you very much. Excellent. And. Have a good show, everyone. Thanks, yes. for, thanks for coming to the show. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Check out Tabitha's new adventure and website. Uh, the, all the links are below in this video. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>